Alright, I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rock Akadesh, the honors to the elders and apostles that taught me the truth. Alright, this is Joel chapter 2, verse 28 and 29. And it should come to pass that afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon our flesh. And your sons and your daughters should prophesy, and your old men should dream dreams, and your young men should see visions. And also upon these servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. So there was the Lord letting us know there was going to be a lot of breakthroughs and a lot of things coming up in these last days, and He was going to pour out His spirit upon our flesh. All right, now one thing that's a great deal of mystery. Was this um what you call it um twelve tribes truck all right now this is gonna be Ezekiel they you know that it was written that this was gonna happen book of Ezekiel the thirty seventh chapter all right fifteen verse all right. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, those son of man, take one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel and his companion, and take another stick and write upon it for Joseph and the stick of Ephraim and for all the house of Israel and his companions. So it was going into, you know, the stick being wrote together. It was going to be the sign, all right? And and join them one to another until one stick, and they should become one in our hand. And this goes back into the twelve tribes becoming one nation again. And when the children of thy people should speak unto thee, saying, Will thou show us what thou meanest by this? Say unto them, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, I have taken the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel and his companion, and put them, him, them with him, even the stick of Judah, and made them one stick, and they should be one in my hand. I we know the tribe of uh, Ephraim is the head tribe of jo of Israel, which is the getting into the Latin tribes in this verse. And the stick of Judah, you know, that's getting into the so called Negro. He said we were gonna come back together and be one in the hand. And the stick wherein thou writest should be in thy hand before thy eyes. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathens, where they have been gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountain of Israel, and one king should be king to all them. And they should be no more two nations, neither should they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Neither should they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of their dwellings where they have sinned and will cleanse them. So they should be my people and I will be their power. And David, my servant, should be king over them. And they should all should have one shepherd. And they should all walk in my judgments and deserve my status in Dubia. Right, so we're saying David was going to be king over Israel. And they should dwell in the land that I give them to. Jacob, my servant, where your fathers had dwelt, and they should dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children for him. And my servant David should be their prince for him. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them, and it should be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them in the multitude, multiply them, and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forever. My tabernacle also will be with them. Yeah, I will be their power, and they should be my people. And the heathen should know that I, the Lord, do sanctify them, when my sanctuary should be in the midst of them forevermore. So this is the Lord promising to restore Israel back to their former glory. All right. And he said he was going to sanctify Israel, you know, and we was going to, you know, get back to the status that we were supposed to be in. All right, now, 
one thing that I always like to tell people when they go into these Latin tribes is that pretty much this, you know, that uh, for the most part, uh, half of the so-called, you know, Latin tribes is a mixed race where you got the, uh, you know, the natives to the land, which were Israelites, the uh, Native Americans, Latinos, you know, going into the mind and all that, which were Israelites. And then you got a mixture of Judah coming over on the slave ships and mixing with them, which, you know, they went by the name of Afro-Latinos, but all of them that was originally there were Afro-Latinos. And then you have the uh, so-called Spaniards coming over and uh, sowing that, uh, that, you know, the devil seed into them, right? That uh, what we call terrorists, right? Which was a uh, part of it, all right? Now, this is a passage from the book, Black People Are Indigenous to the Americas, research material, all right? And as um, Kimberly Norton, he did this book, and it goes into how black people are indigenous to America. And this is Bishop uh, Davenport, uh, article he had, the end result, this is below, and I ask, okay, couple people, and this is was page six from one of his books, A History uh, in a um, Geographic Dictionary of National America in the West Indies, all right? They are, but it's page 45 in this book. This book takes little inserts out of different books and proves that all the natives originally, before the, the Spaniards and Europeans got here, were all dark-skinned people, all so-called Afro-Latinos. All right. And so this is uh, page 45, and I'm still just read the second paragraph, a little bit of the second paragraph. All right. The Indians are the aborigines of the country and generally savages, they are of a, now call them savage, but that's what it says, they are of a copper complexion, all right? Fierce, aspect, tall, straight, athletic, and capable of doing great fatigue. So pretty much, you know, saying these were very tall, athletic, dark color people, all right? So, that was the color of the original Indians. So when you have black, um, only Israelites try to say all the tribes were black, particularly they were right. But most of that comes from them not understanding. Before the Latin tribes mixed with Europe, they were all what you would call so called black. They were all be so called Afro Latinos. Right? Now, Columbus came over here because he read. Sick in Israel, right? Now, the Trail Tribes chart, uh, if we get Sick in Israel, the 13th chapter, you know, cause we start, I'm just going to start at like the 40th verse, right? Th those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their land in the time of Adelsa the king, whom Samuel Mazara, the king of Assyria, led away captive. He carried them over the waters, so came they unto another land. All right. But they took this counsel among themselves, that they would lead the multitude of the heathen. All right. So this is what the um, um, ten tribes that were led away captives said. They would lead the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwell, that they might there keep their status that they never kept in their own lands. And they entered into the Euphrates River by the narrow places of the river. All right? For the Most High then showed them signs for them, and he still steal the flood till they were passed over. So the Most High you know, gave them a way to pass over through the river, and he you know, gave them signs in the skies, and they used the stars to navigate over here to the America. All right? They went down around Africa, and then back up through to America. For the, through the country was a great way to go, nearly a year and a half in the same region as Kyle's Assyria. And that's how you know they came over um, to America. So it's talking about America and not Africa. Because it took them a year and a half to get there. And it wouldn't have took them long to get to Africa. All right? 
then dwell there until the latter times, and now when they should begin to come. All right, so this is saying that this is where they was going to be in the latter times, all right? And we know them ten tribes were the Latin king, all right? Now, now, as I was getting into, you know, um, this 12 tribes chart wasn't meant to be exact, but it was meant to give people an idea of um, about where these people were. And uh, even though the chart the tri is not exact, everyone listening on this chart is Israelites. Once you go through and do the studies of uh, uh, books and history books, because when I first seen this chart, I didn't believe it. And then, but I'm real big into history. So I started looking up things on the history and find out all these native people um, had spoke some kind of form of broken Hebrew and kept different Hebrew Israelite customs or whatever within their society. You know, it might have changed a little bit, but it all went back to something that was in, in the scriptures. All right. And um, it just lined up. Now. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, All right. verse 33. All right. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. All they took them captives, held them fast, and they refused to let them go. All right. So this was letting you know that Israel and Judah were going to be oppressed together. And so far, Amabakur, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, it's the only place where Israel and Judah have ever been captured together, you know, since Egypt. Right? The Redeemer is strong, and the Lord of hosts is his name, and he should thoroughly preach that case, that he may give them rest to the land and describe the inhabitants of Babylon. Uh, so it tells us that we was going to be held captive together in Babylon. Right? Now, we also know that the 12 tribes chart only deals with America. There are remnants of every tribe still scattered throughout the world, all right, and in Africa and throughout the world, all right. This is Tobet, chapter, chapter 13, and I'm going to start at verse 3, all right. Tobit, chapter 13, verse 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, you children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. They are declare his greatness and exalt him before our living. For he is our Lord and he is our power forever. Our Father forever. Alright, so this is letting you know that we are supposed to exalt the Lord before the Gentiles because we were scattered among them. Israel has been scattered into our nations. And he will scourge us for our iniquities, so punish us for the wrong that we do. And will have mercy again and gather us out of all nations among whom he has scattered us. So this is letting you know that in the last day, he was going to gather Israel out of our nations. And we go over to Revelations, the seventh chapter. All right. All right. And I'm going to start at the fourth verse. All right. And I heard the Okay, no know I must just start at the top. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on the trees. So pretty much holding back that destruction. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living Yahweh. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom he to, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, neither the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our Yahweh in their foreheads. So he said, It wasn't going to hurt nothing until the man of the Lord was sealed, right? And you know, we're getting sealed with this uh, knowledge and understanding. You know, the elect were chosen before the foundation of the world. All right, the fourth verse, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty four thousands of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And of the tribe of Judah was sealed twelve thousand, and of the tribe of Reuben was sealed twelve thousand, of the tribe of Glad was sealed twelve thousand, 
of the tribe of Asher, you'll see a 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali, you'll see a 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh, you'll see a 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon, you'll see a 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi, you'll see a 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar, you'll see a 12,000. Of the tribe of Zumba, you'll see a 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph, you'll see a 12,000. And of the tribe of Benjamin, we'll see a 12,000. And I behold, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds of people, and tongues stood before the throne, and before the line, clothed with white robes, and palms in their hands. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, we sit upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. And all of the angels stood around, about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their face and worshiped Yahweh, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our power forever and ever. Amen. All right. Now, so in the other, and one of the elders saying unto them, What are these which are arrayed in white robes in which thou come? And I said unto them, Sir, thou knowest. And he said, These are they which were came out of great tribulations and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. And this is going into being covered in that new covenant, the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of Yahweh and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne should dwell among them. They should hunger no more, neither thirst any more. Neither should the sunlight on them nor any heat, for the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water. And that's going into this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding the everlasting life that we get from learning from this. You know, and that's the whole point of this truth. You know, it's for Israel to make it back into this state of immortality where we know we didn't die back in Adam's time. Right. And Yahweh shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes. Right? So, you know, everything is going to be all right and be made straight again. But this trial trials chart, like I said before, is a great thing. And if you study it, you know, you'll see that the people on this chart are Israelites. All right? Now, like I said, the tribes will only admit to give you a roundabout idea of what tribes you are. You could possibly be from but this one is that you know so but it was just mainly to let people know that these people are israelites and this has geared them and when you go back and study history study the um, you know the uh, customs of the natives and stuff of the land you can definitely see they were israelites and i'm gonna get into a lesson in a minute no uh, cry on uh, judah and you know how we know that uh judah was the uh, you know, the people, because so far the so-called Negroes were the only people we had to put in six hours. And I'm going to explain that on a different list. But um, on it, I'm going to say, shout out one.